Tonight, the right going all in on a baseless conspiracy theory that claims Taylor Swift's relationship with Travis Kelsey and the Super Bowl are all rigged to help Joe Biden win the election. This is what I think is going to happen. There's going to be like some type of proposal at the after the Super Bowl is rigged for the Chiefs. And then the two of these people become, it's like, reach like crazy levels of absolute fame. And then they use that in order to try and save Joe Biden. Okay. Uh, those comments do not come out of nowhere. There's a whole lot about this. In fact, uh, the former presidential candidate and top Trump ally, and now a person seemingly campaigning for VP, Vivek Ramaswamy tweeted, I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl next month, and I wonder if there's a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially, culturally propped up couple this fall. Just some wild speculation over here. Let's see how it ages over the next six months. Out front now. Basil Smeichel, former executive director of the New York State Democratic Party, and Eric Erickson, host of the popular eponymous radio show. Okay, great to have both of you with us. So, Eric, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, honestly, okay, this is QAnon level, uh, you know, Pizzagate conspiracy theories that the Super Bowl is rigged and it's all rigged so the Chiefs last longer. So, I don't know, she gets a little bit more famous <laughs> before making an endorsement. I mean, I, I can't even make sense of it all. But uh, Vivek Ramaswamy's post was in response, actually, Eric, to one of the promoters of Pizzagate. Does this trouble you? Uh, you know, of course it does. And, and l let me be clear. First of all, I should admit I've been to five concerts in my life, four Taylor Swift and one Adele, all because my daughter wanted me to take her to these concerts. So uh, I, I, I get the Taylor Swift fandom by my daughter and so many others she tried to get me to wear a Taylor Swift sweatshirt tonight, but I didn't. Um, here's what's going on. These guys aren't actually serious, but they know that people will believe them. And in the process, they'll get talked about. They'll get buzz. Uh, they might be able to cash in and grift on it. They're hucksters, frauds, and charlatans who are whipping people into a frenzy about something they don't even believe um, because they think it's funny to go viral and get attention and maybe convince some people who aren't very bright that it's happening. In the process, you've got Cori Bush investigated by the Justice Department today, and the right's not talking about that. They're talking about the most popular woman on the planet dating the most popular tight end in the NFL in the most popular sport on the planet. And they're just stupid. I mean, so, 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 Basil, I mean, look, here's the thing about this. I'm just trying to understand what they think they're getting or what, who they're convincing about what. I mean, Taylor Swift endorsed Joe Biden in 2020. Uh, in 2018, she actually endorsed the Democrat running against uh, the Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn in uh, her home state of Tennessee. Uh, by the way, didn't do anything there. <laughs> um, in, in, in Taylor Swift's documentary, she talks about why she got involved in that particular race. Here she is. Just from a security so you think Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I'm sad that I didn't two years ago, but I can't change that. I'm saying right now that this is something that I know is right, and you guys, I need to be on the right side of history, and if he Taylor. doesn't win, then at least I, I, at least I tried. Taylor. All right. Um, you know, she then reacted when Marsha Blackburn actually won. She called her Trump in a wig. Okay, I'm saying this because we know where she stands. Yeah. She's clear about where she stands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know who is ambiguous about uh, where she stands on Trump right now. Why is there a conspiracy over this? You know, I, I have no idea. You know, I, I don't understand the Taylor Swift phenomenon. If it was Sade, different story. I'd have a different reaction. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't understand the Taylor Swift phenomenon in this regard. You know, when we talk about Pizzagate, there were real world reactions to this. People were harassed. People right. got hurt. And my sense is that what they're trying to do, as we said before, is to get Trump supporters to react and hope that that translates into a vote and suppression of other votes in terms of, in terms of both harassment and intimidation, right? My, but again, my concern is that this actually has real world consequences. This is just not theory, right. number, number one. And number two, how petty is this? You don't have any policies to run on. You don't have a legislative agenda that you can run on as a Republican. So you want to make sure that these, these, these conspiracy theories get pushed out in some hope to kind of fill the void, the narrative void. But what effect does it have? All it'll do is gin up Taylor, Trump, Taylor Swift supporters who are young voters um, all across the country, if that is possible, to get them to go out and vote against you. So why do that? I, I mean, Eric, this is the thing. I mean, it, it's they're, the, 
Taylor Swift, obviously, being who she is as an inspiration to many young women. Um, it, now you've got some of the women who work with Trump taking shots at Taylor Swift. Okay, so again, I don't totally understand this, but uh, Alina Haba, post, she shared a post on Instagram. The post she shared says, who thinks this country needs a lot more women like Alina Haba and a lot less like Taylor Swift? Uh, and then Trump's national press secretary said this on Hannity last night. Let's not forget that Taylor Swift has made a career off of writing songs about picking the wrong man. So I don't think we should take advice from her now. You know, Eric, actually, you got real perspective on this because your daughter's a Taylor Swift fan. Uh, do do um, these women who work for Trump coming out and saying this and, 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 and behaving this way, does that fall on receptive ears on young women who just happen to like Taylor Swift as an entertainer? You know, Maybe some, but I mean, go back to Tennessee. She endorsed Marsha Blackburn's opponent. It, it didn't help. A lot of people think for themselves. And it, the only right. people who apparently don't think for themselves are the people listening to these hucksters, frauds, and grifters. They think they can persuade. And, and you know, to the other point, yeah, there could be real world consequences. You know, the, the Pizzagate grifters who are the same guys pushing this, I actually encouraged people to show up at, at that pizza restaurant, and they did. And they um, did. It's, yeah. it's insanity that they're playing with fire. And also, many of these same guys just six weeks ago were saying Taylor Swift was a curse to the, to the Chiefs because they weren't doing so well at the time. They're just trying to get viral attention, and they don't care what the fallout is. It's, it's a nihilism that's creeped into the right of deeply unserious people. It is, it is deeply unserious, Basil, and, the, and there could be serious yeah. implications to that. Trump himself, though, uh, has has previously, um, you know, slammed Taylor Swift uh, when when um, when he came out when she came out against him uh, in 2018, and then also uh, this fall he tells the Daily Caller, "I wish the best for both of them." Talking about her and Kelsey, I hope they enjoy their life. Maybe together, maybe not. Most likely not. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Um, again, how petty is this? Do you have nothing else to talk about but Taylor Swift and who she who she's dating right now? But look, at the end of the day. Endorsements may not mean a heck of a lot. It's a percentage here and there. Right, right. However, one of the things that I remember from the Obama ex 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 campaign and experience is that you had all these celebrities encouraging their supporters to go out and vote. The chatter, the buzz that they can create is worth millions. So all you're doing is elevating her and elevating that buzz and that chatter. Right. Why do that? Counter counterproductive from their perspective. That? All right, well, thank you both. So glad to see you both.